The process that I take when creating a new work is quite a long one. It consists of creating some sketches in a book. I usually keep that pretty loose because once it's translated into textile and using the colours of yarn that are available, things change a lot. So I transfer some rough outlines onto a backing cloth, which is stretched over a wooden frame. Then I will use the mechanical electric tufting tool or the hand tufting tool. And as I'm going along, I'll be trimming the work. I'll be carving into it with a shaving tool or some special carpet clippers. A lot of my work uses tools from the rug and carpet making industry. I explore imagery that I came across during lockdown of aerial photographs of the landscape. So there's a lot of drone footage and uh, being very locked in at home, it was a way to travel in my mind. And so I started to create some work that was inspired by those images, which has then evolved into recognising these patterns that you see on a larger scale, on a small scale, so we can find these patterns in our bodies on a micro scale in nature as well. And so I was fascinated by the connections of those patterns. During the residency, I've been working on some larger pieces, continuing along with that theme, but I'm also exploring symbols and talismans that I was initially came from seeing this TED talk by an anthropologist who'd gone to these caves in Europe and America and Asia and found these symbols that were repeated all over the world. And I was fascinated by that, um, that these symbols were happening all around the world at the same time. And I've kind of created some of my own symbols imbued with some of my own meaning. There's this uh, recurring symbol that has come up a lot that is sort of like um, a wheel of fortune, a wheel of time. It has some connection to like Celtic or Nordic symbols, but it is a new symbol that I've created. I've also drawn on my Scottish heritage, um, and so I have a lot of symbols and patterns that are drawn from there, like tartan and, and checks and argyle, and so I've kind of drawn some of those into my work as well. I think a residency is always a great experience for an artist because often we're working at home alone and it's a great way to connect and to get out and to show your work and to talk to people about your work and this residency in particular with Kingston Arts you're supported by the council to promote your practice and work within the space with another artist. It's been great to work with the other artist, Shay, and have another artist to bounce ideas off and share the experience with. I was looking for an opportunity to get out into the community and to engage with an audience. And this one stood out to me because of the connection to Craft Victoria, which is uh, something that I'm aware of because of my craft-based arts practice. And the mentoring experience was quite valuable and reaffirming that maybe you're on the right track or that you've got something that's interesting that people want to see.